Hello, I'm Sue Blodgett from Iowa State University, and I'm one of ESA's co-chairs for Entomology 2014. And I'm Melody Kina with the U.S. Forest Service from Hamden, Connecticut. We've just finished a beautiful three-mile hike up to Council Crest, the highest elevation in the Portland, Oregon city limits. We covered some gorgeous trails, saw lots of insects and wildlife, and had great views of Portland's skyline. We are here exploring the city and making plans for the next ESA annual meeting. Portland is going to be a wonderful host city. Consistently ranked one of America's best walking cities, Portland has dozens of hiking trails varying in difficulty, distance, and elevation. Be sure to pack comfortable shoes. The trolley system will get you from the airport to your hotel easily and will get you around town. Portland has so much to offer participants in Animology 2014. Key sites include Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, one of the nation's leading science museums. And the world-renowned Powell City of Books is one of our favorite stops in Portland and will be yours too, covering an entire city block. Powell City of Books contains more than 1.5 million books. It's the largest new and used bookstore on earth. And we can't forget to mention Voodoo Donuts, one of the city's most unusual and delicious donut shops, where you can find donuts topped with bacon, Captain Crunch cereal, Oreos, and more. I'm sure everyone will want to make a stop there before attending our morning sessions. The list goes on and on with museums, markets, and attractions. And Portland is a green city. It isn't only green on the surface with its beautiful landscape. Residents recycling and bike commuting rates are among the highest in the U.S. And city planners are committed to preventing sprawl and preserving working farms and natural wonders that surround the metropolitan area. And last but not least, Portland is becoming a foodie destination with fantastic craft breweries, coffee shops, and tons of restaurants bursting with fresh, locally grown ingredients. But enough about the exciting host city and back to the ESA meeting. It takes a full year of planning to develop an ESA annual meeting. We start planning just after the previous meeting ends. It's like putting a giant puzzle together, bringing the latest and most exciting entomological research together with exciting social and networking opportunities and competitions and awards. It's a bit of a challenge scheduling everything in just four days, but we work with President Salem ESA section leaders, the Student Affairs Committee Chair, and others to bring the best meeting possible. We can guarantee it's going to be fun with some new and exciting happenings. Speaking of challenges, Dr. Zalem's theme for Entomology 2014 is Grand Challenges Beyond Our Horizons. Hi, I'm Frank Zalem from the University of California, Davis, and I'm ESA's 2014 president. I'm from the West Coast and I've visited Portland many times, but I'm having a real challenge finding time to hike so many of these wonderful trails around Portland. And with Portland's mountainous landscape, scenic views, and location at the edge of the Pacific Rim, it's the perfect setting to reflect upon challenges facing people globally and the theme this year, Grand Challenges Beyond Our Horizons. Entomology 2014 will enable us to begin a very broad discussion within the discipline about grand challenges what we contribute together as entomologists, and what the future holds. I selected this theme because of the many roles arthropods play in global food security as disease vectors, as predictors of climate change, in maintaining ecosystem health, and as ideal models for increasing science literacy. I'd like 2014 to be a year when ESA members begin formulating a grand challenge agenda that will lead to consensus of challenge areas and what entomologists will do to address them through our research, teaching, and outreach. My hope is that this will lead to the recognition of entomology by policymakers and key research influencers as a critical element in solving some of the most important challenges facing humanity. This theme also provides an opportunity for the ESA to assume a leadership role in promoting collaboration among our sister societies around the world to create and address a global grand challenge agenda. So it's going to be an exciting meeting and discussion and a place where lasting connections and memories are made. This meeting only takes place once a year. Don't miss out. And plan ahead to take advantage of all that Portland has to offer. Visit TravelPortland.com for more information on the city. Please follow ESA on Twitter, watch E! News, and check in on ESA's Facebook, LinkedIn, and other sites for the latest meeting updates. We hope to see you in Portland.